Russia can no longer provide quality security for Crimean Bridge. Ukrainian Navy spokesperson Dmitry Pletenchuk shared important information about the situation in Crimea. As it turned out, the Crimean Bridge is currently not guarded by Russian ships and boats at all. What is important to understand is that not long ago, there were 10 to 14 boats and ships of the Russian occupiers patrolling the Kirsch Strait, and now there are zero. According to Dmitro Pletenchuk, the Russian invaders began to actively use barrages and barges near the Crimean Bridge and also added an air component. He also added that the occupiers are forced to strengthen passive security measures as well as to improve the air component. Also, barrages are used to try to protect ships that are still in ports. The invaders put up barricades both at the Novorossiysk base in Russia and in the occupied Crimea as well as around the Crimean Bridge, explained the spokesman of the naval forces. It is worth paying attention to the fact that the Russian barriers are an attempt to protect against Ukrainian surface drones, but they have also become an obstacle for Russian shipping. In addition, Dmitro Pletenchuk commented on the tactics of the Russian invaders regarding the placement of barges and corner reflectors near the Crimean Bridge. That is, a structure is created at a distance from the bridge which can directly remind the means of destruction of this object to be destroyed. The calculation is that the means that will be used can be applied to these structures. In the same way, it can be a shield against drone attacks, explained the spokesman of the Navy of Ukraine. There are just a few ways to move large quantities of cargo into Russian-occupied Crimea from Russia proper. By sea, by road and rail over the Crimean Bridge spanning the Kirsch Strait, by ferry across the same strait and by rail through southern Ukraine. One by one, Ukraine has struck each of these supply lines. Last summer, Ukrainian forces bombed and damaged the Crimean Bridge. It took Russian engineers six months to fully restore the spans. Ukraine can destroy Russian Tu-95 and Tu-22, a Ukrainian colonel called a miracle weapon. The Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel noted that it is critically necessary for Ukraine to have permission from Western countries to launch strikes with their weapons on Russian territory. The likelihood of making a positive decision for Ukraine was commented on by Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and military expert Petra Chernik in an interview with Glavred. Chernik recalls that a similar situation with Western countries' hesitation in providing Ukraine with certain types of weapons has been going on for a long time. In June 2022, when I was in the combat zone in the Donetsk region, US President Joseph Biden stated that he would not provide Ukraine with F-16 fighters because this would mean crossing red lines and further escalation. But time has passed and Biden decided to take this step, and we will have F-16s. There is a hope that by early to mid-summer, the fighters will be operating in Ukraine. If this happens, it will be a tremendous success for us, Chernik said. He adds that the situation is similar with long-range missiles. Of course, we are interested in ATACMS with a range of 300 kilometers, but the Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel notes that it is worth paying attention to the missiles that are used on F-16, in particular the incredible AGM-158 JASSM. There are configurations that allow you to strike enemy targets at a distance of up to 900 kilometers, the expert noted. According to him, a strike by five ATA CMS missiles on Russian targets in the Donetsk region, in particular in occupied Mospino, led to the destruction of at least three S-300, stroke 400 launchers, a radar and a combat control vehicle. This incident indicates serious problems for the enemy with anti-aircraft missile cover and the AGM-158 JASSM missile with a range of up to 900 kilometers can easily fly to the airfield in Engels, where the strategic attack missile carriers are based. T-95MS, TU-160 and TU-22M3. The ability to strike with such missiles can radically change everything, he notes. However, he notes that another example of a Western reaction should be kept in mind. Almost a month and a half ago, the information space was filled with militaristic rhetoric from Macron, about the possibility of sending French troops into Ukraine, but this did not happen and the topic disappeared from the information agenda. It's difficult to say exactly what decisions will be made in the West, but we critically need the Western world to allow the use of its long-range weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation, he concluded.
все взрывается. Он... Вот так вот все приближается к нам.